I'm really looking forward to today's workshop. I'll be working in pen and ink today. And the reason why I brought my books along is um, there's a lot of pen and inks of my sketches in, in the books and they'll be running throughout the film just as little suggestions of what you can do with the pen and ink. So it should be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, I'll be talking about how to make your own pens and how to stretch watercolour paper. So I hope you enjoy it. Thank you very much. Hi folks, so today I'm going to be talking about the things you need for um, doing pen and ink. So first of all I'd like to talk about my pens. I don't actually use a pen as such. These are just like meat skewers, the things that you, you put barbecue things on. So they all come in the same point. But you can get a little Stanley knife and you can cut the end off to make it blunter so that that's a, that's a thick stroke and, and so you have all different. So um, also I use brushes, various watercolour brushes. Sometimes I use a nice uh, soft sable brush for, to, for putting in washes. I also use balsa wood. Now I cut the balsa wood into little shapes, things like this. So with a knife, you can cut something like that and you'll be able to do things like that. Or, and you can do things like that. I also use old credit cards. You can just break them in half or you can use them like this. Obviously you're going to need a pencil. The ink I use is like a, what you call a soluble ink. Um, so yeah. Box of tissues. palette. I've numbered it one, two, three, four, five. I'll explain later what that's used for. A water pot and spoon. So put a little bit of water in each well. And then just put some plain ink like that. I should brush out. You need to have stretched your paper, so it's okay to use um, photocopying paper. 120 GSM I think is the thickest one you can use so yeah that's okay um, in a little while I'm going to be showing you how to stretch paper sometimes I use um, the reverse side of um, matte board matte board is the stuff that you put um, around your watercolor paintings and the reverse of it is plain white please make sure you're using um, like um, acid free paper and then you can use a watercolour paper 
So there's a right and a wrong side to watercolour paper. I don't know if you know that. But if you put a light underneath or hold it up to the window, can you see, um, can you see the word there? That's the watermark. So when you can read that the right way around, that's the right side of the paper. So that's the right side. So when I get a piece of paper, I turn it over and I put a big cross on the back. Can you see that? So that means cross for wrong, meaning wrong side of paper. If I'm going to cut the paper in half, then I'll put a cross on both sides. So we'll just cut the paper in half. like it doesn't work until you wet it so always be sure to um, keep this dry if you were to get a little bit of water on here then the whole thing would be ruined so measure roughly pieces you want And then down the long sides. So make sure you put this away before you do anything with the water. I'm going to get some water now. side that's the sticky side and you have a box of tissues ready so place and just shake off the excess water wipe along the top, press in quite firmly. Paper can tend to curl sometimes. So now I put this to one side for it to dry. Don't, um, don't ever turn the board on its side like that because all the paste on the inside of the tape will run down and stick the paper to the board, which won't be very good when you're trying to um, paint on it. So this will show you a little bit about um, different papers you can do, use and um, now go on and do my next course. So I hope you enjoyed the uh, workshop. Um, 
In the next film I'll be showing you how to use your ink pens. Also we'll be doing some very simple uh, pen and ink paintings. Um, then the next one after that is advanced uh, pen and ink. Um, then we go on to watercolour painting for beginners and advanced. Um, an oil painting, uh, acrylics, um, pastel, that type of thing. So that'd be great. Um, don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Janet Skinner, artist and author. Um, or you can visit my website, JanetSkinner.com. Um, subscribe if you like to the channel. If you've had fun today, press the little bell thing and then you'll know when the new films come up. Thanks for watching. Great. See you next time. Bye.